welcome back to my channel. Today I am filming part two. I don't know if I should call this like a series or what it is, but I filmed a video call I Hoard Makeup Boxes. I think closer to the beginning of this year. If I can find that video, I will go ahead and link it up in the eye for you guys. And basically this is part two. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys a picture of this really cute basket that I keep in my beauty room and basically I throw all of my packaging in here and I basically hoard it because either I'm thinking like should I return this or I want to just hold on to it and now has come the time it is the end of the year we're gonna go ahead and clean this out I bought down two garbage bags because that's how many boxes are in this container some of these containers or packaging I am gonna keep because it's cute so without further blabbering, let's get into it. You guys, this basket is so full, I literally can't even pick it up. But let me go ahead and... <laughs> okay, so the first thing in there is the box for the Jeffree Star Alien palette. I am going to keep this box because I haven't even really like reviewed the palette for you guys yet. This is packaging from Charlotte Tilbury. I'm going to hold on to that. This I am going to throw away. This is the packaging for the Beauty Blender set that came out for holiday. I totally bought this basically because of this packaging. Oh, almost threw away a solid. Gotta take that out. But here's what it looks like. It's so cute. It's like sprinkles, but this is unnecessary. Honestly, do you guys remember Samantha Ravindal's video about all the PR she gets and how much trash she produces? I can barely keep up with just me and I don't even get any PR, so this is, just brace yourself, okay? It's bad. Festival palette box. I am going to hold on to this palette for a little bit longer. I am planning on decluttering some of my Juvia's Place stuff, um, but not that palette. I'm going to keep that. Here's more Juvia's Place, the Warrior palette and the Tribe palette. The Tribe palette, I should have a review. Let me link it in the cards if I do. Love the Tribe palette. My new favorite Julius Place palette. Warrior palette was okay. I'm gonna keep this because what is in here? This is the Sigma collab box that Angelica did. She picked out her favorite brushes. Oh, there's a little card in there with Sigma Beauty. And they put her face on the box. I can't throw that away. This is my Huda Beauty New Nudes palette box. Don't need that. This guy is super cute. I just picked this up from Macy's. This is the Urban Decay Starfire Heavy Metal Glitter Liner Trio. 39 bucks, I got it on sale. You don't need that box anymore. Um, we've got the Morphe Jaclyn Hill Volt box. I'm gonna keep the Volt, even though I don't like it and I haven't reviewed it yet. And on here, it's got a picture of her, but I don't need it. So I'm going to throw that in my trash bag, my um, Dominique Cosmetics Latte Sleeve. What do you guys think? Do I need this? I don't need it. I'm not returning that palette. Moondust palette. My sister-in-law got me the Moondust palette for Christmas last year. So I'll throw that away. Strobe Cosmetics Creepy Cute palette box. Don't need it. I'm going to throw that away. I don't really like that palette, but... I'm gonna probably sell it on Poshmark. Uh, MAC Fix Plus, I just opened up a new one. Don't eat the box. This was awesome. This is the Slip Silk Scrunchie uh, from the makers of the Anti-Aging, Anti-Sleep Crease, Anti-Bedhead Pure Silk Pillow. These were how many scrunchies? Six silk scrunchies. I love these. Totally overpriced, but they work really well. This is my new favorite toner. This is Beauty Water by Vaisan and Park. This is Stephanie Nicole's recommendation. Picked it up during the Sephora sale. Don't need the box. Here was another Sephora sale pickup. This is the Mary Mary Moisturizer by Belief. This is the holiday kit. Box for the Desi X Katie Frankation palette. You can get this on sale now. I paid full price for it. Don't need the box. Here's the little sleeve for the Beauty Blender set. This is a Pat McGrath Lust Lip Gloss in the shade Flesh 4. Love this color. Such a nice gloss. I don't like lip gloss, but I do like Pat's formula. Juno Oil by Sunday Riley. This is my favorite face moisturizing oil, so I don't need to keep the box. This is Nathan by Jeffree Star. The Dior Backstage Glow Face Palette. I really, really like this highlighting palette. It's such a good deal for the Dior brand as well. So I'm keeping that so I don't need the box. This is Ofra Beverly Hills. I think I got this 
during a Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale. I'm not like a huge fan of the Ofra highlighters, but I know they have like a cult following. ColourPop Ooh La La palette. I'm not returning that obviously, so I'm keeping the box. Or tossing the box. The Douche by Juvius. Love this palette. Charlotte Tilbury Magic Foundation. It's a good foundation. We got MAC Studio Sculpt Defining Powder. I think this is a bronzer. So I'm tossing that. We got a MAC Mineralized Blush in Lovejoy. This is a beautiful color. Probably didn't really need to buy this, but I'm going to keep it now. We have some Blush Tribe sleeves. We have the Hasina and the Fall Fusion. I don't want those. I've got the box for the Feral palette by Menagerie Cosmetics. I honestly didn't really like this palette. I'm probably going to get declutter it on my Poshmark. So if you want to buy it, here's a little heads up that it's going to be on my Poshmark eventually. Uh, the link to my Poshmark is in my description box if you guys want to follow me. Smashbox Pro Photo Finish Primerizer. Bought this because of the hype. It was on sale one time in Ulta. It's okay, but you guys know I'm not really into primer, so I kind of regret purchasing that one. My trash bag is already full, <laughs> just so you guys know. This palette is the Glam Light Masterpiece palette. I picked this up before um, it kind of got Instagram famous, and the brand, I mean, and they are the same brand that does the Pizza palette. This particular palette is kind of full of neutrals. Again, this is going to be another one I think that will eventually find its way onto my Poshmark because I just don't use it, and I'd rather find it a new home while it is new. So I'm going to throw that box away. Little card from when I got the Divinity palette by Strobe. I'm a hoarder, you guys. What can I say? Let's see here. What else we got? Um, some Sydney Grace Cream Shadow box. Uh, Natasha Denona Blush and Glow. This is that mini that they have. Uh, Stila La Douche Glisten and Glow. Shimmer and Glow, sorry. Not Glisten and Glow. Um, let's see what else I've got here. Oh, this guy. This is definitely getting decluttered. Morphe. 39A. I never use it. Such a waste of space. Really wish I hadn't bought that palette. Oh well. Anastasia Lip Palette. I use this in my kit whenever I do people's makeup. Anastasia. This is the Amrizi. No, this is So Hollywood, which is honestly the same as the Amrizi highlighter in my opinion. Cover Fix. Pro Perfect Pressed Powder. I'm actually planning on Putting this on my Poshmark as well. Not a huge fan. I love the Charlotte Tilbury powder, so I'm just gonna get rid of that one. This is the C Tango Multivitamin Eye Cream by Drunk Elephant. I'm actually one of the few YouTubers that isn't a huge diehard fan of Drunk Elephant products. This lady, don't need to keep it. These are some interesting real techniques brushes. They're like these, they're called the Rebel Edge Trio. They're okay. I wouldn't recommend like running out and buying them. The MAC Strobe Cream. This was a purchase because of Desi Perkins. She loves strobe cream. It's okay. I don't really I don't really love it that much, <laughs> but I have it, so I plan on using it up. This is the Marc Jacobs Scandalust eyeshadow palette box. I picked this up in one of the VIB sales and I'm still to feature it on my channel. Bad Karen. This is the box for the Arkeo palette by Cleonade. I did a video on this palette with my friend Choops or Nadia. We did like a eye look that we both created different eye looks from this palette. So I kind of want to keep this because Angelica's eyeballs are on the back, but I kept the I kept the instructions she did on the eye look, so I'm gonna just get rid of the box. I'm keeping the Pat McGrath palette boxes because they're beautiful. Here's a regret. This is the Born This Way Super Coverage Multi Sculpting Concealer. Everyone was talking about how good this was, but honestly, I feel like this is overhyped. Blood Sugar Palette Cover. Not keeping this. I love the Blood Sugar Palette, so I don't need the sleeve. Love the Natasha Denona Gold Palette. I'm going to be keeping that. The Disney Princess Collection by Colourpop was okay. I think that palette is going to find its way onto my Poshmark either this year or next year. I don't see myself keeping it because it's kind of a snooze fest. Oh, these Pixie Fairy Lights were super nice. I pretty much bought every shade. This is a little sleeve from the Huda 
Obsession palettes. Those will probably all be here. This product is awful. This is the MAC Fix Plus with the gold shimmer in it. Definitely going to be putting that on my Poshmark if you guys want to pick that up. MAC Pro Longwear Nourishing Waterproof Foundation. This foundation is okay, but the shade I have isn't the greatest color match for me. This is the Contour Blush Palette by Sephora. This is gorgeous for people with deep skin tones. So if you guys are interested, I would recommend. This is a Tweezer Man Lash Curler. And I think I bought this, but I actually really despise the Tweezer Man Lash Curler. It's like too wide for my eyes, but I'm going to keep it so in case I ever need to use it on somebody else, but I can't get this out right now, so just going to worry about that later. This is the Huda Easy Bake Loose Powder. Love this powder. It's definitely one of my favorites. I got the Becca Dreamsicle Highlighter. That was an unnecessary purchase. I don't need any Becca highlighters. Pat McGrath. I love this formula. This is her... Lip Fetish Sheer in the shade Flesh Tree. Again, love this, so I don't need the box. <laughs> we have the Becca Velvet Blurring Primer. This is another one that's going to end up on my Poshmark. Becca Mineral Blush in Songbird. It's the blush I have on today. I love this guy. We have the Natasha Denona Duo Glow in the shade Alba. I love this stuff so, so much. I featured it in a video with Hannah where we did five days of blush. This is another lip balm, and this is in the shade. I have three of these. I have a sheer, I have the flesh, and then I have another pinky one. So it's probably one of those. This is the Ordinary Serum Foundation. I actually really like this foundation. It's super affordable, and Ordinary is coming back to Sephora. So if you want a cheap foundation, pick it up. Give Me Glow Staple Palette. Here is what it looks like. I obviously won't be returning that palette, so I will be tossing the box. My garbage bag is ultra full already. Good thing I bought two garbage bags down. Here is the sleeve for the Zuri palette. Honestly, I think I used this like once or twice. Shouldn't have bought it. I'm gonna buy a lot less indie in 2019, guys. It's like ridiculous. I'm gonna keep this box. This is from the Equality Collection by Jeffree Star. His packaging is flawless. Um, Cover FX palette. I think this needs to go on my Poshmark too. I bought it because it was on super sale, but I have a million highlighters, so I probably shouldn't have bought it. Next, more Sydney Grace. This is a lippy from Dos X Desi and Katie. This is Hot Fire from their first collab. This MAC Fix Plus Matte is also going to be on my Poshmark in case you guys want to try that formula. I personally was not a fan. Another Pat McGrath box. Kat Von D Locket Makeup Setting Mist. This is okay. It's definitely not something I would repurchase, but I'm trying to pan this. Another lippy. This is Flush 3, the um, Pat McGrath Lipstick Formula Matte Trans Flush 3. Beautiful packaging. No need it. The Dragon Child Sleeve. Don't like this palette very much either. Don't shoot me, Miss Chino palette. Stila Starlight in Shimmer and Glow. Is there something in here? Because I just heard something shake. This palette, I feel like, is definitely like a collector's palette. It's not something I'm planning to continue using. I maybe will keep that box just in case. Tossing this. This is the little instruction booklet that came with the Miss Chino Bear. I'm going to keep that. We have a Becca Gradient Sunlit Bronzer in Sunset Waves. This is gorgeous, but it's on sale now, so you don't have to pay full price. Ofra Rodeo Drive Highlighter. Probably another purchase from an Ulta sale. More Pixie. There's so much in here. This Makeup Forever I picked up last year. And I think this one survived the first round of my hoarding video. But this is actually the perfect palette for me because, as you can see, it has you know, shades for like different skin tones. So I love this because sometimes when I'm doing other people's makeup, this is all I need. I do mostly lighter skin tones, so I love having that. Bite, a mousse bouche in chutney. Was not a fan of that. Jeffree Star Thickest Thieves, gorgeous nude shade for my skin tone. This little guy is so cute. This is from Gimme Glow Bestseller series part one this had pumpkin and spice pumpkin and spices dirty pumpkin sweater weather and girls night i wear these shades a lot and these are minis 
great way to try the Give Me Glow lipstick formula. Is this collection the, what is this called? Oh God. It's called the Brush Crush Collection. So I have the powder brush, the blend, the eye perfecting, and the cosmic sponge. I really like the sponge. Everything else is pretty eh. I would not pay a full price for this. I kind of regret purchasing this, so be warned. Okay guys, I still have a ton more to go. So what I'm gonna do is split this video up so you're not sitting here forever. So this is part two and I'm gonna make part three right after this. So if you are curious, I will upload that and link it in the description box down below. Thanks guys for watching. Have a good day. Bye.